Jesus on the feet, bro. Two stars, a winner up in the sky, creating all worlds with divine design. Come and see the heavens align, placing all your problems in your life. God the builder, he can fix it. God the builder, yes he can. God the builder, he can fix it. God the builder, yes he can. You are sitting in the garden. Damn. You are sitting in the garden. Time to build Jesus with you. He's keeping it real. Big white, big white, the universe rise. Models for the ocean all under his eyes. He puts the upper notch in the flat and rain. The music of the cross is love sustained, building bridges to salvation, bringing every change. God the builder, he can fix it. God the builder, yes he can. God the builder, he can fix it. God the builder, yes he can. God the builder, he can fix it. God the builder, yes he can. Thank you. Thank you. Great people and made good friends. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for me and I will never forget it. As I spent time there worshipping and praying, I realized that how much God has loved us and how did He sin. sacrifice His Son, Jesus, for our sins. God died for us. Jesus died for sins. Alright, straight to the point. I like it. <laughs> good, good. So, is, is there anything else you want to share? I'm not ready. Not ready, okay. I, like I want to thank every, every person who made this happen. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't it good? Yeah. Do you like the food? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Do you like the food? Was the mutton good? Yeah. Or was the chicken better? Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> he, he has his priorities right. Okay, so this time is yours. I'm going to keep quiet now. It's over to you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Estera, and I'll be sharing my testimony. The undistracted camp was an experience I hope to never forget. This camp brought about a change in me which I can't exactly pinpoint but I can detect. I am not a changed person nor am I any less of a sinner, but it has made me realize how far from God I was. With the passing of this camp, I, made, I have made more effort to read my Bible more often, pray more often and involve God more in the things I do. Um, admittedly, I went to this camp focusing more on the fun aspects and the pictures I'd be taking. I was completely distracted. The days leading up to camp, all I thought about was the food I'd be eating and the, and the swimming pool. Um, it was only on the second day onwards that it finally hit me that this camp was about Jesus. The whole point of this camp was to fix my eyes on Jesus. There was so much I learned from this camp which I can't put down in words. So many feelings I felt which I can't pen down. Additionally, I'd like to add that this camp reminded me of how important my church family is. It is of course crucial to keep friends everywhere you go, but you should keep your friends who are fellow believers the closest. Many times I have prioritized my friends from school and other places, when it should be my church brothers and sisters who should be who I should be spending most time with. Um, the other day I was talking to my friend Rinfala and he said something that should have been the first thing that I noticed. It was something I hadn't realized um, any sooner. He'd said that on track used to feel distant and disconnected, but ever since the camp, everyone felt more connected and everybody, the people felt closer. And that couldn't be any more true. The week following the camp, all I looked forward to was Sunday so I could meet everybody again. It was the highlight of my week. The camp was an opportunity to, of course, bring me closer to God but also His people and His children. I connected with people I wasn't necessarily close with and my friendship grew stronger. I'd like to thank everyone who supported the, uh, us through prayer and donations to make this camp possible. Thank you. Go on track. So the pastor told me over here. Okay. Yeah. So be honest. Were you forced to come to camp? Yeah, uh, wait. I didn't want to come at start, but I think it was good for me. Okay. So what made you change your mind? Uh, basically, I just like I had. You didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is either that or. Or. Do nothing at home. Yeah. So you'd rather be doing something at camp. Yeah. Right, okay. That's the spirit. Thank you. I'm glad you came. Okay, it helped me get to know you better. Okay. So Joshua, here's your time. Okay, the next couple of minutes, it's all you. And you can share with the church which us. Just imagine this entire audience is one person and you're speaking to one person. Okay, that should help you. Yeah, I don't know. You you're not nervous? Oh great! So you're, you're like, so I think in the future we want to have the Joshua show or the Biju show. Yes? Maybe I don't know. 
I think in the starting I didn't want to come uh, to one track but I think it was in the end it was good for me. I met new people and socialized more and it uh, and uh, before coming to camp like I had uh, intentions of studying more uh, Bible but uh, it was never like successful. I never had the motivation to do that and I never uh, persisted on doing that. But uh, after I came to camp, something like changed in, uh, in me and it made, uh, I'm now motivated so much that I, I remember the one way that uh, Auntie Naira taught about reading the Bible, the SOAP method, the S stands for like scripture, we should read it first and O stands for observation, we should observe it and A stands for application, we should think about how it affects us in our daily lives and the P stands for praying, pray about it and I think one of the questions I had about the Bible was that how do we know that uh, what's the God's way for us so by coming here I think uh, it was God's plan because it made me better and yeah, yeah I, I, get, I got to understand so much more about the Bible and I think I have become a better uh, believer. I'm going to twist it, I'm going to change it around. I'm not going to ask for the same since you're the last for tonight. Right? I think here's the last for tonight. Yeah. Okay, if there was one thing you would change about camp or do better next time in camp, what would, you, what would that be? Anything about camp that you would change? Now really I don't have any problems with the camp. It was perfect, right? Yeah, it was very good. Perfect answer. Five spoons are out of here. Thanks, Joshua. By just introducing us, tell us your name and what are you doing in Delhi? Hello everyone. My name is Kivi Kalievto. I'm currently a second year law student at the uh, Faculty of Law Delhi University. Okay, so how did you hear about camp? Uh, so I've been attending DBF for about two years now. So in the services, the pastor would introduce it. As well as uh, Pastor Noel and Auntie Kivi, they kept uh, sending the registration forms and all of that. So that's how I got to know about it. So be honest. Did you want to come to camp? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how, what was your experience like? Uh, so, before I went to camp, I was thinking about how it's been so long since I've been to camp. The last camp I've gone to was maybe when I was in Sunday school back home. Like, we have children festivals. So Sunday was, school, you said? Yeah. <laughs> that was the last camp I, I had ever been to. And I wanted to go to uh, this camp, but I didn't want to go alone. I knew I would go and I would make friends, but I was like, I want to take someone with me. So I got to go and I told you. Do you, you want to call her up on stage? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. She, she wants you on stage, not me. I promise you. It's, it's